So after Mamta Banerjee has said that this film will not be screened because it's an attempt to defame the people of Kerala, let's get you the first reaction from the makers of the Kerala story. You've got producer Vipul Shah now reacting, saying that if such steps are indeed being taken, we will pursue legal action. And this is something that the makers will now explore. Remember that even before its release, in the Supreme Court, in the Madras High Court, in the Kerala High Court, there were petitions against this film, all of which was dismissed as the top court and every other judge maintained that this film must release considering freedom of expression. But that is something that's been breached clearly in Bengal with this announcement. And so Vipul Shah has said, we will approach court if we need to. If that is a, if that is what she has done, then we will again take a legal action. Whatever is possible under the under the provisions of law, we will fight that. If that is a, if that is what she has done, then we will again take a legal action. Whatever is possible under the under the provisions of law, we will. So fight. with Bengal banning now the Kerala story, let's get your reactions coming in. Sukunda Mashumdara of the Bengal BJP, the chief of the Bengal BJP, is joining us on this broadcast. Mr. Sukanta Majumdar, good evening. Your reaction, sir, to Mamta Banerjee announcing that the Kerala story will not be screened anywhere in Bengal. So this is the hypocrisy of our opposition because uh, they most of the time advocate for the freedom of speech. Now the question should uh, bombard towards them. Should be bombard towards them. The why the, why are this freedom of speech is going now? So first of all, this is the thing, and the second thing is that the Mamta Banerjee is surrendering, the uh, ATLP is surrendering to the radical Islam element, Islamic element present in the state of West Bengal. Already, Mamta Banerjee divided this state uh, along the demography that some areas are the Hindu area and some areas are the Muslim area. So that is the mindset of the Mamta Banerjee, and uh, that's why every time. She is surrendering to this radical Islam even few months ago when the Nupur Sharma incident... How are you saying, uh, Mr. Sukanta Majumdar, that she is pandering or giving in to Islamist elements? Are you then saying that, yes, there is a communal angle to this film? Because that's what Mamta Banerjee is saying and she is saying that could lead to a potential law and order problem. No, no, see, that's uh, some Islamic, uh, radical Islamic organization is saying that, demanding that. The thing is that few months ago, when the Nupur Sharma incident break out, at that time, the National Highway, highway was jammed by the, this radical Islamist goon. But Mamta Banerjee's police stood there for more than 11 hours. They could not do anything. Why? It is the duty of the police to maintain the law and order. Mm. You can't blame to other people. You have the duty to maintain the law and order. This is the freedom of speech. In West Bengal, there are several poems. They, I mean, the TMC backing those uh, intellectuals. They are writing uh, Bengali poem, humiliating Bhagavan Ramchandra, Ramayana, Hindu culture. Every day they, they are doing that. So nothing okay. is, uh, nothing, no state has been given by the Vamta Energy. Okay, Mr. Sukanta Majumdar, thank you very much for joining us here on India Today. So the BJP is saying that this is Mamta Banerjee pandering and answering, in fact, to some of the demands uh, that some radical Islamist groups have made of banning the Kerala story. Uh, I want to take this across to Indrajit for more details. Indrajit, surprising move by Mamta Banerjee, really, considering that before the release of this film, it passed the Supreme Court hurdle in the Kerala High Court, Madras High Court. There were petitions filed against this film left, right and centre. But very clearly every court said that the freedom of expression must be upheld. How exactly has Mamta Banerjee really justified this decision? Well, Akshita, uh, surprising indeed because you would remember last time when the Kashmir files had released, there was a similar controversy. However, the West Bengal government did not ban that film then. So, uh, therefore, the question arises that why now and why uh, this film, the Kerala story, uh, which doesn't have any connection with Bengal, uh, why is it that Mamta Banerjee uh, government chose to ban this film? Now, I have with me uh, the statement that has been given by the West Bengal okay, government. Uh, says Indrajit, my apologies Kerala for interrupting, story. but joining us now on this broadcast is the BJP IT cell chief, Amit Malviya. Amit Malve, your first reaction to the news coming in now of Mamta, Mamta Banerjee banning the Kerala story in Bengal. No multiplex will screen it in Bengal. 
Apologies, we've lost the connection with Amit Mal. We will reconnect with him and get you his reaction. But Indrajit, go ahead. You were reading out to us the statement from the government. Yes, that's right. The, uh, the West Bengal government states that the film Kerala story has been banned in West Bengal to maintain peace and harmony in the state, fearing that the scenes shown in this movie could be dangerous to peace and order in the state. The screening of the film has been banned in all districts uh, across the state, including Kolkata. The decision of the state administration is to maintain peace and order. So clearly, the state government apprehends that there can be some uh, law and order issue uh, if the film is allowed to be screened. Remember, the film has released. It's running across screens here in West Bengal as well, apart from the rest of the country. Uh, no untoward incident has been reported till now. But obviously, there is an apprehension which has been expressed by the Chief Minister herself. We showed her uh, the, her uh, statement just a short while back. In fact, she has also alleged that there is a, a, a propaganda, there is a plan uh, that is afloat to make a film on Bengal, similar lines with Kashmir files. And she said this is going to be on concocted facts, on a distorted uh, reality.